Hi there, in this series, I'm giving you a behind the scenes look at the apps I use to run my business. And today I'm gonna to show you how I use Straco, an AI app that saves a ton of time by allowing you to put in one prompt and get back up to four responses from a variety of AI learning models. And as I've tried out different AI learning models, I found that some work better for certain prompts than others. And for me, I have a hard time remembering which ones work better for which types of prompts. Maybe you're the same. With Straco, I don't have to worry about it. Let me show you. What you're looking at here is Straco's dashboard, and I am just gonna show you my favorite parts of Straco from left to right. For the images, you can go in here, and right now it's not working because the actual AI model isn't working, but I wanted to show you what it looks like anyway. Okay, so first you have the place where you put in your prompt. You also have the ability to give it a negative prompt, which means that you give it something that you don't want to see. You can enhance it in various ways. So it's got a bunch of different styles you can choose from. You can also upload an image and it will create variations for you. So that's really nice as well. And then you can create different settings. So what size you want. So if you want it to be landscape, portrait, how many images you want to show, and then you just click run. So that is the image base tool within this section, but there are also others. So let me go to those and show you those as well. So in the actual chat section, you can also use Dolly or you can use Flux Pro. Now, what I love about using either Dolly or Flux Pro is you can give it the same prompt. So in this example, I said an image of a woman sitting at a computer creating a social media image in Canva. And so this is what Flux Pro gave me. And then right in the same dialog box, I used the same prompt for Dali, which is OpenAI's model, and got these. So now I can compare and contrast and see which ones I like better. So in this case, Flux Pro gave me something that was more realistic than Dali. And since that was what I was looking for, then I would have gone with Flux Pro. So that is one example. And let me just share another one. So I did the same thing with another prompt, dump truck filled with jigsaw puzzle pieces, dumping them on a suburban driveway. And this is what Dali gave me this time. And then I did it again with Flux Pro and got this. Now again, I can decide which one I like better. In this case, Dali <laughs> gave me something really random and weird where it's like coming out of the side of the dump truck and around the dump truck. So I would not have used these and I would have gone more for Flux Pro. Now I can regenerate these and get something even closer to what I'm looking for. But what I like about this is that I can compare two different AI models right here and then I know which one to keep working with instead of trying to work with the same one. Okay, so those are image AI models. So let's go to the text-based ones. Now this is where I think the power of Straco is, is I can give it one prompt, I can tell it which AI models I wanna use, and I can choose up to four up here. And if I wanna change those four, these are the ones that are available to me right now as I'm recording this. That's a lot, it's a lot to choose from. So you choose four out of those if you want, you give it one prompt, and then it gives you four responses right here. So you just click through the different responses, read through, and then you decide which one is closest to what you were looking for, or you can choose pieces from each one to create your own. So hopefully you can see how much time this would save you by just having more choices to choose from right here. Different models, they each have their own algorithms, right? They have their own pros and cons. So you can see up to four of them at once. I find this really time saving. Let's give you a couple more examples. Now in this example, hopefully you can see this. It actually pulled in a PDF to use for the prompt. So this is a PDF I created for my coaching framework. And so I have a, a short description of the framework here. I've got the phases, I've got the steps along with the short description of each step. So this is in a PDF. So I've pulled that PDF in here and then I've created a prompt that says, write a coaching program sales page that includes the information in the attached document. And so again, I used four of them and it, each one gave me a start 
to that sales page using that PDF. So that is really handy for anything that you've already created that you want to use, but you don't want to have to copy and paste it in and then try to get a prompt from that. And then one other thing that I wanted to show you. Now this one is based on one of their templates. And this is one of the other things that I absolutely love about this program. If you click over here to the right, you have access to a ton of prompts that Strico has already created for you. So you can go into any of these sections and find a prompt that makes sense for what you're looking for and use their template to get those responses. And this is even better, you can create your own templates. So for example, the framework that I just showed you with the PDF, it's in here. I created that here. So this is where the PDF is and then the prompt. And so I just created a template. So every time that I want to use that PDF in a prompt, I want to ask a question. Maybe it's an email, maybe it's a sales page, maybe it's something else. It's right here, ready for me to use. So that comes in really handy for prompts that you know you're going to use over and over again, or you've got content that you know that you're going to reuse over and over and over again for various prompts. So for example, this one, write 10 headlines for the following piece of content. They should be specific and follow the power of three. Use this headline as an example, and then I have the example, and then this is where I would put the content piece in. So then I don't have to remember this prompt every time I want to go in and create some headlines for this. So hopefully you can see how templates would be really useful for prompt creation. And then over here, you have the ability to create different folders so you can keep your prompts organized and saved. I love this part too, because I've used other tools where it's just a big list of prompts and there's no great way of organizing it. So this allows you to organize your prompts. And one final thing, you can go to settings and you can actually put in which AI models you want to use as defaults. So every time you come in, those are the ones that show up. This is really handy because as you start playing with this, you're going to find that you like some better than others. So you're going to have your go-tos and you can have your go-tos just there when you're ready to get into Straco and start using that. So hopefully you found this helpful. I use this tool all the time and I really love it. And if you want more videos like this one, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time. Take care.